In this video, let us see about the different types of circuit elements. What is an electric circuit? So this is an electric circuit. You can see here there are two voltage sources that is a 3 volt and 2 volt source and remaining are resistors. So this is called an electric circuit. You see this circuit here also you have resistor capacitor, inductor and two current sources are here. So this arrow represents a current source. So this is an independent current source and this is a dependent current source. So what is an electric circuit? It means that the, it is a combination of various elements connected together. So here it can be a resistor, capacitor, inductor or any circuit element which are connected together forms an electric circuit. Let us see some of the terms used in an electric circuit. So you see this circuit, there are points marked as A, B, C, D, E, F and G. They are called the nodes. What is the node? It is a junction of two or more circuit element. Let us take the node A here. It connects the voltage source with the resistor R1 and B node, three resistors are connected together. So, nodes is a junction of two or more elements. Then next is a branch. What is this branch? It is the part available between two nodes. So, here A, B, B, C, C, D all are called branches. So, this is a branch, this is a branch, this is a branch. Again here BG is a branch and CF is also a branch. Next you can see here it is marked as a loop. Loop means it is a closed path. So here you can see this part A, B, G, A can be called a loop. This is also another loop. This is a loop. The whole thing can be taken as a single loop. So loop means it should be a closed path. Now let us see the difference between loop and a mesh. Mesh is a common term which is used in electric circuit. So we have seen that loop is any closed path. If you take this circuit, you have three loops here. This one L1 is one loop. This is L2 is another loop and the third loop is the whole thing that is A, B, C, again D and A. The whole thing is also a closed path. So I can call this as a loop. So totally there are three loops. What is a mesh? Mesh is the most elementary form of loop. It means that mesh cannot be divided or this L3 I cannot consider it as a mesh because it is not the smallest form of a loop. So there are only two mesh here. So this is a mesh. This L2 is also a mesh. L1 and L2 are mesh. Whereas L3 is not a mesh because it combines it can be easily divided. Okay, The mesh means it cannot be further divided into other loops. So there are two meshes here whereas three loops in this circuit. So this is important because some of the problems you have to solve by mesh analysis. So you have to know what is the difference between loop and mesh. Next we will come to the types of circuit elements. So this is a circuit. You can see here there is a voltage source, resistor, capacitor, yeah, transistor, inductor, everything is here. So different elements are there. So these can be divided into various categories. So they are the, they can be classified as an active element or passive element unilateral or bilateral element, linear, non-linear element 
or lumped and distributed element. So if I take a resistor, it can be a passive element as well as a bilateral element as well as a linear element. So it depends. So all these uh, elements can be classified into one or many of the types. What is a passive element? The resistor, inductor and capacitor are called the passive element. So if I give some electrical energy through a resistor, what happens? It con converts into heat energy. So the, this resistor is said to receive the energy and convert it into heat. Whereas the capacitor and inductor can store the energy. Capacitor stores the energy in an electric field whereas inductor stores the energy in a magnetic field. So these devices which are capable of receiving the energy are called passive elements. They cannot give away the energy, they can only receive the energy. If you take active element, they supply the energies to the circuit. Example, you take a generator or battery or any ICs which receive power supply. They are called active elements. Now let us see the difference between passive element and active element. So if you see this diagram here, this battery is supplying the load. So this is an active element which supplies the energy while the passive element receives the energy. So now let us see an example for uh, active and passive element. You take a transistor, it can be used to amplify the power of a signal. So it is called an active element. If you see a um, transformer, it cannot change the power of the input power or output power. The power remains always the same. It can change only the step up the voltage or current alone but it cannot change the power so it is called an passive element now next category is bilateral and unilateral element so it is by what do you mean by 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 means two direction so if you take a resistor i can pass the current in this direction Similarly, I can pass the current in opposite direction. The magnitude of the current will not change when the current direction changes through a resistor. So, resistor is called a bilateral element. So, the element which allow or conduct current in both direction with the same magnitude is called bilateral element. So, all these resistance, inductance and capacitance comes under bilateral element. What is an unilateral element? You take a diode. When this diode is connected in a circuit, when it is forward biased, it will carry one current and when it is reverse biased, it will not carry any current or it carries only the leakage current. So this diode is said to be a unilateral element. So all these transistors will come under this category because only when they are forward biased, it will carry current and a reverse biased, it differs. So the element which conduct current in one direction is called unilateral or single direction. So unilateral element. Next category is linear and nonlinear elements. So the param in a linear circuit, the parameters do not change with voltage or current. Example, you take the uh, resistor, the VI relation will be always uh, linear voltage current relation. So the circuit in which the parameters do not change with voltage or current is called linear circuit. In case of non-linear circuit, for example, you take a diode, it will not follow the linear relationship. So they are called non-linear elements. Next, lumped network and distributed network. What is this lumped circuit? If all the elements are physically separate, 
uh, that is you are able to separate the elements uh, physically they are called lumped circuits for example um, resistor inductor capacitor you can see it then we call it as a lump network but what is distributed network in a Mm-hmm. transmission line if you see this line there are numerous resistor inductor and capacitor throughout the line but you cannot um, electrically separate this for analytical purpose so in that case it is called a distributed element so electric circuit is the interconnection of various elements node is junction of two or more elements and loop is a closed path and mesh is the elementary form of loop there are different types of circuit elements active and passive unilateral and bilateral linear and non linear and lumped and distributed and if you like the material do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel thank you these are some of the references which i have followed